tonight, one of the things you might be asked if a family member falls ill is, are they pale or have they got blue lips? The problem is, those questions don't really work for people with darker skin. It's just one of the many examples where medical care works against people from different backgrounds. And it's taken a student doctor training at St George's in Tooting to do something about it. Malone McQuende joins me now. Malone, tell me when you first started noticing this. Hi, good evening. So I first started noticing this problem when I was in my first year of university. So often we would get taught signs and symptoms on white skin. And I knew that this wouldn't entirely translate to be the same way in my type of skin. So would you be looking at, I don't know, textbooks and other resources, but not seeing the different kinds of skins that you'll be encountering working in South London? No, so often the textbooks that we use as reference, they always show the symptoms on white skin. And this is from textbooks to online resources. So it almost feels as if this information doesn't exist. So let's go through a specific example. This is Kawasaki disease that we're looking at. Talk us through what we're seeing. Um, so on the right side, we can see that um, it is clear to see that it presents as red, but on the left side, um, it's much harder to spot. So, of course, there's differences in the way these two patients would present. And if a patient came in, they, or, although they have the same symptoms, the one on the left may be harder to see, and then this will lead to the patient um, having, having fatal consequences such as even dying. Gosh, so really incredible outcomes just depending on what students are being taught. And in terms of the information that you give to patients, does it help for them to be able to see their own skin when you're talking about the problems that they might be having? Yes, of course. So I feel like with this work, it will lead to patient satisfaction increasing because the patients will be able to relate to what they're seeing on the screen when doctors are showing them conditions that are appearing on their skin. It will also help them to be it will also help them to have confidence in their medical professionals that they're seeing because they know that they also know about what's going on with them. So you're leading the change, Malone. Take us through this handbook that you've been helping work on. So I have created a handbook called Mind the Gap. Um, this is a handbook which aims to address clinical signs and symptoms in black and brown skin. So we explore presenting different diseases and showing you how they would appear in black skin and brown skin. Malone, it's absolutely brilliant that you're doing this, but isn't it remarkable that it's taking a student doctor in 2020 to do this? Yes. Um, I feel like with everything that's going on in the world at the moment, with things such as the COVID-19 pandemic, it's allowed the world to wake up and see some of the cracks that are there in the system at the moment. So now that we are aware of the problem, I think it's imperative that we solve the problem now before we continue to see unfortunate um, situations like what happened in COVID with patients of a BME background being more likely to die. Malone, brilliant work you're doing. Thank you so much for telling us about it. Malone McQuende there.